Every two years, United Nations member states review the global counterterrorism strategy to direct their collective counterterrorism efforts. The seventh review takes place when the world is experiencing a global pandemic, growing authoritarianism, a continuing shrinking space for civil society, and declining support for multilateralism. How is the United Nations responding to these developments, and how can it optimize its delivery of counterterrorism and preventing violent extremism efforts? This is what the Global Center seeks to answer in the fifth iteration of its Blue Sky report. Blue Sky 5 makes one central argument. The UN's global reach, field presence, and normative role could benefit counterterrorism efforts, but it requires the organization to prioritize policy leadership and coordination that systematically account for human rights and civil society engagement. We take stock of the strategies review process and assess whether the UN institutional architecture is fit for purpose. We observe this architecture is sprawling and saw an ever expanding role for the UN Office of Counterterrorism with increases in staffing, extra budgetary resources and liaison offices. Leadership and coordination, particularly of the UN Global Counterterrorism Compact entities needs to be prioritized. Going forward, the UN should better situate its counterterrorism efforts within the organization's broader prevention agenda it should enhance coordination between headquarters and the field, more meaningfully and structurally engage with civil society, center human rights across all its work, and improve the monitoring of the strategy's implementation. In the current security landscape, the United Nations will also need to strengthen its commitment to human rights across its counterterrorism and prevention efforts. This requires more than incremental project-based or piecemeal approaches. It calls for structural reforms, strong leadership, a gender-sensitive approach, direct financial support, and accountability measures to allow for a fundamental shift in the culture. As the United Nations marks the 75th anniversary, member states will undertake the seventh review of the global counterterrorism strategy at a critical juncture, seeking to at once preserve the fragile consensus among member states while reaffirming the strategy's core pillars.